Hey guys, this is Nathan, and what do you know, we're back on the AT Launcher, we're back on Technode Firmacraft. So, I said I was going to be coming back to this, I've been really missing it, actually, but you'll also notice we are on version 2.21.8 now, I think we were on version 2.15 the last time that I played, so there's bound to be a few changes here. And no, we are not going to be going back to the old server world. We are going to be starting a new single player world. So we are going to create a new world and we are going to call this Season 2. So we are going to go game mode survival. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we want our world type to be TFC default. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave everything there the way that it is. No random seed or anything like that. And we are going to go ahead and create our new world. So, I did learn a lot about Technode Firmacraft the last time that I played. And hopefully I can remember a few of the things that I picked up from that. I have a few ideas of things that I would like to do this time around. Uh, one of them that I really am kind of looking forward to is using Railcraft Rails, which is something that I did not do at all in the last season. So it takes a long time before we get to uh, flight and yeah, it took me forever to get the glider. So flight was a little bit uh, overrated at first. But so we have here the uh, version changes and everything like that. We've got uh, IGW, I'm not sure, sounds like Iguana something, blocks and items, so we have open computers, which I never figured out, I tried to figure this out in creative, I could not figure it out, the logistics drones from Pneumatic Craft, we never even got into Pneumatic Craft, so yeah, we need to take a look at some of that stuff this time around too, so there's a lot of stuff that we need to take a look at later on. But uh, let's see here. Yep, so the sun has just come up. It says press E for inventory. Woohoo! We get taking inventory. So uh, we have a few things here that I did not have last time, like for instance the claim chunks area. So we can come through here and claim chunks, and then we can control right click. Whoops. Control right click to chunk load them, and then we can left click to get rid of them. And I don't know about you guys, but that sound seems kind of loud. So I'm going to turn some of this down just a little. So let's see here. First off, we are at about negative 12,000 on our Z. So uh, kind of feeling like I want to head south by quite a bit. And I'll probably just kind of pick up resources on the way there's going to be a lot of food to look at and that looks like coal up there of course we can't mine coal right off the bat we have to get ourselves some tools so i guess the first thing to do here is look in the quest book so once again we've got this uh, wonderful uh, quest book to help us get through the stuff and so let's go ahead and read this. Welcome to Technode Firmacraft. This is a progression mod pack and you will gain access to increasingly advanced mods as you progress up the tech ladder. The quest should give you a good introduction to early game and the, tech, the Terra Firmacraft changes made to Minecraft. Later quest sets will be added to introduce some of the more advanced mods available. And the quest lines are designed by Azeal13 and the Technode team. So thanks guys, I really appreciate the quest. So we show reputation, but I'm not sure if anything is going on from that. So let's show our quest. So Stone Age, start out with, we'll open that. Welcome to Terra Firma Craft. So where we learn everything about Minecraft has changed. Terra Firma Craft, or TFC, is a total conversion that changes most of the things we know about how to play Minecraft. The first thing you will want to do to survive is go and find some sticks and rocks. Sticks and rocks can be found randomly on the ground, and sticks also from breaking leaves on trees. So we need to pick up seven sticks and seven rocks. Now, the last time that I played this, it said rhyolite rocks, and I thought those had to be rhyolite rocks. No, they can be anything. So let's just see, we've got limestone rocks here. 
So that is definitely a rock. So I am really happy to find out that we have limestone. So let's see here. We have... How do I get into my map? Eh, yeah. I'm going to have to figure that out later. So, yep, we're going to pick up some... Nope. We have enough to do some napping now. But uh, we're not going to get into that just yet. And I have to remember that fall damage is incredibly increased here. So we want to avoid fall damage, if at all possible. So we have our rocks now. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some sticks. And I'm just kind of curious. No, we don't have vein miner in here. Why would we? That would make life way too easy. We don't want that. So we need to gather up a few sticks here. And then we can get this quest taken care of. So that should be everything there. So let's take a look back at the quest book. So we've got seven six, sticks, seven rocks. So this is going to give us a full heart and an andesite rock. Now, these full hearts, this is not exactly hardcore, but it's pretty darn close to it. Oh, I have missed that sound. So that's our first quest. So we have this full heart. If we eat this, we will see we have 21 lives remaining. So if we die 21 times, guess what? It's game over. But since uh, we had very few deaths in the last series of Technode Firmacraft, I think we'll probably be okay. But so let's take a look at what we've got next. So we have fire pits, where we learned the primitive means to cook things. The first thing you will need to make a fire pit is a fire starter. You will need two sticks to rub together. So we need to take two of our sticks here. We go like this and we get a fire starter. So let's see here. Now we have temporary lights. The fire pit is used to craft torches, cook food, and more. The fire pit is made by throwing three sticks on the ground and lighting that block by right clicking with the fire starter. If you are successful, a fire pit will appear. Throw a piece of straw down with the sticks to increase the odds of a fire pit forming. Now that's something that I did not know about. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, once you have the fire pit form, once you have the fire pit is formed, um, okay, you will need to fuel it with logs, which can be placed in the left slots or by dropping on the fire pit. You'll also need to protect your fire pit from rain or it will go out. Things you want to heat go on the top rightmost slot and will drop down to one of the lower slots when complete. Place a stick in to make a torch. Torches are your early source of light, but they burn out over time, or if they are exposed to rain. They can be relit, or you can relight torches by right clicking it with a lit torch. You can craft more torches by right clicking with a stick and extinguish them by right-clicking with anything other than a torch or stick. Crafting torches in a fire pit in fire pits or forges gives two torches per stick, or one from lighting from another torch. Although fire pits won't light blocks on fire, we don't suggest you walk on them. Yes, if you walk on a fire pit, guess what? You will get hurt. So before we can make our torches, we need to get some napping done. So, rocks into head tool, or tool heads. Tool, stone tool fundamentals. To begin napping a stone tool, you need to have a stack of at least two rocks. Use the andesite rocks provided. Right click while you are in your hotbar to open the napping interface. The patterns for napping are available in any eye. So, we need to make ourselves a, an axe head. So I don't need to look these recipes up. So the axe head is like this. So we make uh, two here, three across the top, three across the bottom, one on each of those spots, and we get this. Oh, we have a thunderstorm. So we do have localized weather here. So yeah, I'm not too keen on that. So let's take a look at what the quest book says. So now fundamental tree feller. Combine your stone axe head with a stick or a bone in your crafting slot to craft your first stone axe. In TFC, you will break a log in a tree with 
When you break a log in a tree, the entire tree above that block will break and the leaves will instantly despawn and not drop any saplings or sticks. So be sure to collect what you need from the from those leaves before chopping. Stone axes are key early weapons. In TFC, weapons deal different types of damage. The axe deals slashing damage and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to make ourselves an axe, so let's take a stick and our axe head, and there we go, stone axe. So um, I can't open my quest book. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there. So that should be everything here. We get another full height, heart, some andesite rocks, and then we either get genese or basalt. I'm gonna take the basalt. So let's go ahead and eat this heart. 22 lives remaining and now we'll go ahead and break some leaves here and actually I think did this no that does not break them any faster all that we're doing is doing damage so we're gonna go ahead and cut down this tree now also we will cut the tree next to it because it is within two blocks of this tree so we're gonna get a lot of logs from this one time of cutting but we're not gonna get any of the uh, sticks or saplings okay i'm gonna have to turn that weather sounds down because that's just annoying go away weather sounds okay so we need to continue moving here i don't really want to get stuck here right away so we do have forestry of minecraft i messed around with that a little bit last season Unfortunately, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to, and we are hungry, so that doesn't help matters any. So, I think what we want to do next is make ourselves that fire pit and make some torches. So, sticks. We'll throw down three sticks. We'll hit that with our fire starter. There we go. So, let's throw in a log. Throw in a stick and unfortunately these go in one at a time but we're going to get a few torches we're not going to worry about anything else and we're going to leave that behind so i think at this point what i'm going to do is i am whoop, ow i am going to continue so, well here this is something that i'm going to show real quick here so we're going to take our limestone rock we're going to take a t out of the center that gives us knife blades and now i just picked up a stick thankfully so we're going to take that and make a stone knife. So right here we have seaweed. So we can right click on that with our stone knife and we get some seaweed to eat. Now this gives us a vegetable. So that's good. So let's go ahead and grab that and we're going to get up here. Now each one of those pieces of seaweed that I picked up is an individual stack of seaweed and we want to stack all those together so that uh, we don't get as much decay on our food so what we want to do you can see there's anywhere from 2.5 to 4.19 ounces of seaweed here so if we mouse over any one of these and press s it'll stack them all together now we have 13.29 ounces of seaweed we're going to set this here we're going to move some stuff around so that we have um, yeah, well some semblance of order to our inventory Remove some of this around. Uh, sorting doesn't exactly work the way that I want it to. We're going to go ahead and eat some seaweed. But yeah, I'm going to keep heading south here. And apparently I'm going to have to get some more seaweed. But uh, I'm going to continue heading south, trying to get closer to the equator. And I will be back in a little bit. And nightfall brings out all the nasties. So I found myself a really good little hill spot here that's a little bit easier to defend than... Uh, well, I thought it was easier to defend. My tool broke. This is not gonna go well. Die! Get away from me! Ow! Ah! This is not good. This is not good! So, yep, I'm trying to fight off zombies. This is not a good thing. 
So what I really need to do is block their way of getting up. Trouble is, is, uh, da 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 da! I don't have blocks on my hotbar. So, yeah, I'm trying to defend myself. I seem to be doing a fairly good job here. So if I can just keep these guys out of here... Okay. There. Stay down. Ha ha! I managed to defend myself. So we'll go ahead and take my logs and lay them around there. So maybe this will give me some time? I don't know. Don't think there's anywhere else they can get up here. I hope not. So yep, I'm just gonna kinda sit here, wait through the night and uh, maybe craft myself some new tools. So, yep, I will see you guys in the morning, I guess. Ha ha, burn! Serves you guys right. So the sun is coming back up and I think it's time for us to take a look at the quest book again. So we have our fire pits one, we did this, we've made torches, so this will give us full heart and some more oak logs. So we're gonna go ahead and claim that. And yes, I did manage to make it through the night, didn't die, I was able to put my logs down here, I was able to keep the zombies down, I, I killed all of them, so, yep, we have 23 lives now. So let's take a look at what we've got next, so, so more on stone tools. Where you learn about tools added by TFC that will you will need to survive. The javelin is a ranged weapon that can also be used in melee, or melee, or melee, I don't know how to pronounce that word for sure. The javelin does piercing damage, which is most more effective against bears, creepers, endermen, and wolves. Skeletons are immune to piercing damage, so don't bother using a javelin or against them. So we need to make a stone javelin. So the javelin is made by removing, uh, I think it's these three corners and that makes a stone javelin head same thing as usual we put that with a stick and we get a javelin so i'm going to go ahead and put that here made myself up a whole bunch of stone axes so i should be fine there and i want that knife down here so next up we have the stone knife which i already made and then the stone hammer so the stone hammer is primarily used to to make the stone anvil which will be useful later Hammers deal crushing damage, which is most, most effective against Endermen and Skeletons. Basically, anything works against Endermen. This is the only Stone Age weapon that are effective against Skeletons. In, uh, in Technode Firmacraft, the hammer is also a valuable tool for the builder. Building blocks are easily broken, but don't use it when the block is natu touching natural stone, dirt, or other natural blocks. I don't know what it does if you do. But so we need to make ourselves a hammer. Well, this is kind of a, an interesting recipe. So we take uh, two layers of stone, leave, leave those two layers, and then we leave one little one here in the bottom. That gives us a stone hammer head. Same as usual, we're going to put a stick with that. That gives us the stone hammer. We're going to put that here on our hot bar as well. So anything else? Uh, nope, that looks like it. So we get the choice of a stone knife blade, a stone hammerhead, or a quarter of a heart, and we'll get four stone javelin heads and a full heart. So we're going to claim the quarter heart, and we're going to take that. So, sorry. So, yep, we got another, uh, another life. We're at 24 now. So... I guess we'll look here again at what's next. So the hide bed, the stone hoe, and pottery. Well, we can't do pottery yet because I haven't found clay. The stone hoe, we're not going to worry about that just yet because we're looking for a place to live still. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to keep on my little trek here, see what I can find. And uh, I will be back in a little bit. So this is a pretty big deal. We find these uh, food crops scattered throughout the map. Now this one is a red bell pepper. It is 86% ripe, which means it is going to give us a green pepper. 
So we can eat this and we got the achievement gatherer, but also it gives us a seed. So we can take this with us and get some seeds planted for our own later on. So I'm going to gather up all of these. We'll get quite a bit of stuff here. We can stack these together just like we do on the seaweed. And uh, yeah, we'll have tons of stuff available to us. And yeah, we've gotten eight seeds already. So it's kind of a look around for all of this stuff. They spawn in patches. So you can find a lot of them together. I have no idea what I just picked up, but yeah, bright ground clover. I don't want that. So yeah, I'm gonna look around a little bit more for some of that stuff. I also need some water to drink. So we're gonna come over here. There is a stream here. So we should be able to come in here and drink some water. I think we need an empty hand for this. There we go. So this is the slow way to drink water. I still have not found any clay, so we can't make any pottery yet. But uh, you can see the little blue bar, that is for water. The green bar is for food. And then our HP, you can see we're at 1017 HP. Our HP is quite a bit different, and what kind of a stone did we, we just got a limestone? Okay, well, I think we were in conglomerate just a second ago. But so, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue looking around here for the food stuff. And it looks like we've got some grains up there. So we're going to have some grains along there. Ooh, we have malachite. So this is copper. That's good. So I did get my... Uh, map key set up here so yeah we started up here we've come down and around here this is where i spent the night i came down here and then i needed to come up here and get some water so yeah we haven't made it very far yet but we are definitely going to mark this for malachite and um let me see like that okay so name malachite and the group is going to be ores so that we can see that when we we will uh, whoops let's see here I don't remember we roll the roll the mouse but or the mouse wheel over the group bike or indicator here and it will show us that so we can also set one up for uh, stone types this is conglomerate over here this is limestone so yeah we'll have plenty of that i'm going to go ahead and pick up this uh, malachite so we get no stone unturned there's going to be a little of that around here and we have tetrahedrite here which is also copper so this is going to be a really good place to get copper later on so we're going to add tetrahedrite here and uh yeah i am going to gather up all of this stuff and i'll be back in a little bit so I have hit the end of the rope. So we came down here and yeah, dead end. I'm not sure what these little white spots are that I'm seeing every once in a while. And so I'd kind of like to go and see if I can check that out. And um, yeah, there's been several of them. I don't know what these are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up that way here in just a little bit. But first off, we want to make ourselves a boat. And I thought this was kind of funny, cigarettes and boats by approaching Nirvana. So I really like approaching Nirvana. I saw this symbol, I knew immediately it was approaching Nirvana. So that was pretty cool. But to make a boat, we can use the standard recipe of planks, or we can use three logs and a stone ax. So that's the recipe that we're gonna use. That way we can make one right now. So we go three logs and a stone axe. I think it may have to be a brand new one. Yep, because it uses the whole axe. And there we go. So much the same as everything else. So it looks like that may be one of the wintry hives. I would be willing to bet that's what it is. So yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So we're going to continue on our journey south. I have a feeling we have a long stretch of water ahead of us. So I will be back when I find something interesting. Well, what do you know? So it was, like I said, a very long expanse of water. 
And when we finally made landfall again, what do we find but giant sequoia trees? So this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, there is no way to get saplings from these guys, but there's quite a few of them here. So we're definitely going to be keeping this in mind. And we're going to go ahead and grab our boat, because you never know, we might need it again. And uh, the reason that I am going south, I figure I'll show you guys this. And so we're in quartzite sand. Hey, that is pretty cool. We got quartzite. So if we pull up the F3 menu, you can see the average biome temperature at the bottom of the uh, information there. We've got rain, temperature, average biome temperature. It is 14.14 degrees. And so the further south you go, the more that goes up. And you can see that basically with every couple of blocks that I move, it goes up by one one hundredth of a point. So we want to get closer to zero, zero, because that is going to give us a much warmer biome, which gives us a much, oh, da, 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 bear, 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 run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, so at the last time that I knew, bears were a big problem, but it doesn't look like he followed me, so that's good. But anyway, we want to have a warmer biome because uh, that allows us to have a longer growing season. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to continue on here. I would still like to find myself somewhere to live before the end of this episode, and we're just about out of time, so I'll be back in a little bit. So, I finally found myself some clay, so we're going to quickly do this. So, we need to make ourselves a water jug. So, we need to make a little shape like this. I just screwed it up. Okay, let's try that again. This little shape, and that will make us a clay jug. So, we're going to make a few of these. And, yes, that did get made. So there should be several of them there now. There was one left where I was standing, so we're going to make one more here. So there's four of them. We're going to drop some stuff on the ground. Our inventory is getting incredibly stuffed. So I'm going to see if I can eat up that. There we go. So I made myself a little hole in the ground here, so if I shift right click this on the ground, I can place it down. And then what we're going to do and I know this is getting dark, I'm sorry. We're going to put in eight pieces of straw. And then we put in eight logs on top of that. And then we hit it with our fire starter. So let's grab our fire starter. And there we go. So I'm going to let that burn for a little bit. I am also going to continue to try to get uh, saplings here because this is going to burn it down anyway. So... Yeah, let's see if we can get that zombie to catch on fire. Now, unfortunately, I have not yet uh, located anywhere to live. We're not quite far enough south yet for where I want to be. So, yeah, we need to get another axe up here. I always thought this had uh, something that continued to give you your axes when you ran out. There we go. So I'm going to burn this other uh, zombie flesh, because i got no use for it. So I'm going to let this cook up. I'm going to try to hide through the night. And, uh, yeah, when that's finished, we will be able to have some stuff. And also, I guess we will make one more thing before we're done with this. So we're going to take and just remove all four corners here. And this is going to make a clay vessel. So we're going to make a few of these. And we're going to make one here where we take out the center. And that's going to make a large vessel. Now this large vessel we will be able to put on our back. And carry a whole bunch of the small vessels. So I'm going to cook this. So we need our thatch again. One, eh, That didn't work. Let's try this one more time. Give me that. Get rid of you. 
Give me the thatch. Uh, apparently that doesn't like it. Okay, well, whatever. We'll put it over here. So I'm going to cook this, and uh, we'll have somewhere to put our items now. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, guys, after much exploring, I think I finally found the spot that I want to call home. So we're finally far enough south, you can see we're below 7,000, that our average bio biome temperature is now 26 degrees. So uh, we have tons of regular Minecraft uh, sugarcane, but it's called reeds, just the same. We've got tons of this around here. I've picked up quite a bit of it already. We have carrots around here, pumpkins. We've got a fairly good sized flat area there. We have fresh water, which that's always an important thing. And uh, we can clean up all of these uh, cattails, make that look a little bit nicer, as well as all these annoying plants. But uh, one of the things that I am really happy about is this copper. So we have everything that we need, I believe, to make some tools. We've gathered up enough copper to actually make some tools. I also found some uh, tin and zinc on the way. So we have, well, quite a bit of stuff that we can do. But I do think we are out of time. So if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts or any comments or anything that you want me to look into right away, uh, leave those down in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye!